Hello, I'm Ethan Burks. Indiana's COVID-19 positivity rate remains low at 4.2%. However, Monroe County Health officials are now concerned about lagging vaccination numbers. If we don't get a majority, a large majority of our residents vaccinated, we could very likely risk another outbreak in the fall. Vaccinations will continue at Assembly Hall throughout the summer. IU Health says it is working with its providers to ensure doctor's offices and urgent care centers are able to distribute the vaccine as well. Schools across the state are offering bonuses to their staff as a token of appreciation after an intense and unusual school year. Federal relief funding will be used to offer one-time bonuses for teachers in some places up to $2,000. The state hopes this extra pay will incentivize teachers to work summer school and come back next fall. Over the next two decades, Indiana will need more than $13 billion to repair or replace aging wastewater infrastructure. The Healing Our Waters Great Lakes Coalition says the Biden administration's budget plan is a step in the right direction and any delay will only make problems worse. The proposed budget will help replace lead pipes, lessen sewage overflows, keep Asian carp out of the Great Lakes, and give a big financial boost to the EPA. More funding will also work to enhance quality of drinking water. And a quick check up on tonight's weather forecast, a low of 62 degrees, clear skies, and then tomorrow it is 85 degrees and sunny, a 50% chance of rain on Sunday, and more rain in the forecast on Monday. For more news, check us out online. Have a great weekend.